Hey everyone, and welcome to part 4 of my KPI scorecard series. This video will be the final video in this series, and will walk us through how to create the final polishing touches on the dashboard including formatting, visualization, design, and a couple of other things to really make it pop and stand out for the client. So we have in front of us the example of the completed scorecard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk us through what we will be going through for this video. We'll start off by applying the background that we see here. Uh, I like to use a nice color gradient that really draws the eye and kind of helps show a little bit of variation in the coloring and just adds a little bit of touch to the design of the report. We'll also learn how to create these lines that we see here that kind of divide up and create this table looking scorecard layout that we have between all of our visualizations and metrics. Thirdly, we'll go through the titling that we see here at the top and the bottom that kind of frames this report really nicely and cleanly. And then lastly, we'll cover the filter section over here that we see on the left that has the company logo, the title, and this nice little box that contains the filters that really creates a frame to hold it in place there and makes it stand out from the background. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and start from here. What I've done to this page is I've taken the completed scorecard and I've stripped out all of the formatting and design and we'll go through them one at a time. So let's first start with the background. So I'm going to come up here. First, just to make sure you've clicked anywhere on the report canvas to make sure you're not selected on a visualization. And I'm going to come over to the paint roller for format. And I'm going to go to paint background. And I'm going to select add image. Now I could just choose a color here, see any of these colors in this list, and then just have that assigned to there. But as I mentioned, I like that gradient background. Um, I've also created a PowerPoint file that has a bunch of colored gradient backgrounds. I specifically prefer blue, so I'm going to use a file that I already have available, which is on my desktop. So I'm going to select add image and that slate blue gradient background. I'm going to select that, which will then add it to the page. Now it's important too, if you want the image to fit onto the page itself, make sure you change the image fit from normal to fit. And that will make sure that it fills it out completely and it doesn't run off into the, the corners past the actual size of whatever resolution it's showing. It, it compresses it down to make sure it fits in this frame. So that's good to go. Now the next thing I want to do as well is I want to add those lines to really kind of divide these things together. The gradients help in a little bit to make these things stand out, but I additionally want to frame this and make it look a bit more table-like. So that's actually going to be achieved by coming up here to Shapes on the Home ribbon, and I'm going to select Line. And it's going to put a line onto the page. So to start with, I'm actually going to put that over here to kind of separate my KPIs from my spark line, and that can be resized. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop that down. Bring that, where is it, there you are, right there, over here, drop that all the way down, perfect. Now you might notice too that the color is a little bit uh, different from the rest of them. Now I have the option under the Format Painter to come over here and I can choose my line color. Now the default color palette I'm not the hugest fan of in Power BI. There are a lot better custom color palettes out there that you can use. Um, I have one that I use for my business and that I've created that has a lot of really good complementary colors. So let's go ahead and use that. So I'm going to come up here to the home ribbon again, and there's an option to switch theme. And you can import or switch back to default. As I mentioned, I'm going to import a theme. Uh, it's a JSON file. And there's also a Power BI theme gallery that I'll make sure to link to in the description as well of this video. Uh, but I'm just going to import the file that I already use. So that's the Havens Consulting theme right here. I'm going to select that. The theme was imported successfully. And now when I get close and I go back to that line color, you'll notice that that color palette has changed to what I find to be a much cleaner and much more vibrant colors that I think fits the theme well. The more pastel uh, colors rather than the what I honestly considered a bit more circusy for the other ones. So I like this color palette a lot better. And now it's a nice shade of blue that's going to be in there. Now I have my vertical line. I also want some horizontal lines. So I'm going to copy and paste this by control C and control V for that line that right here. And I can do this a few times, but the trick is here, uh, you can't rotate this normally like you could a line in PowerPoint. You actually have to come over to the format shape, go to rotation, and in here is where you specify what angle you want that line to be in. So I want mine to be 90, and then I'm going to resize this, there we are, and then now that can be added right here and between all of the other spots too. So let's just quickly copy and paste those all the way down. Beautiful. And now you can see it has this nice frame around all of this and it really helps to draw the attention to the title, the KPIs, and then separately that spark line at the end. 
Now the next step that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a title section and kind of bottom, and I really wanna be able to fully enclose this as a pseudo table. These are all custom individual visualizations that is on the page, but I want it to have a nice frame around it. Now to do that, I actually did a clever little trick to create this. So I'm gonna come up here to the home tab and I'm gonna select the text box. And that's gonna create an empty text box template. And here's where the trick comes in. So I'm actually gonna resize this over here. I'm gonna put that right above sales amount. Let's resize this up. I'm not actually gonna put any text into this box. I'm instead gonna come over to visualizations. Let me actually move this over temporarily up to here so I can zoom in. I'm gonna turn on the title. I'm gonna call this metric name. I'm gonna change the background color to maybe something like a blue, the font color to a white. Keep that left aligned and kick that up to maybe a size 11. Perfect. And now what I do is I'll put that over here, even drop this down one more. And what that can become is a title section for each one of these. So the text box itself is completely empty, but I'm just using that to create a completely free floating title that I can put wherever I want. So I'm gonna copy and paste to create the rest of them for the top. Perfect. And as you can see, what I did too with each one of these is I actually gave it a slightly different color. Again, further helping with the idea that each one of these is a different thing, so I wanna draw the eyes and allow a little bit of variation using color to help contrast the difference between, as I say, the metric name and the store name and all of that. It just adds a little bit of polish to the report. And that same thing can be done at the bottom. So I'm actually gonna take that sparkline thing over here as an example. I'm gonna copy and paste that one more time. I'm gonna bring that all the way down to the bottom. I'm gonna expand that out to the entire size. And then what I can actually do is I can come to title, uh, it doesn't even matter what the name is. If you change the font color to the same as the background color, that then, as you can see here, completely gets rid of the wording in there and then just adds that bottom frame to really make this stand out. Now I've gone ahead and fast forwarded a little bit, but you might notice there's a subtle change in the differences between some of these KPI columns. What I've also done is I've added a bit of color matching with say the store rank or the total value or the monthly average. For any of those KPI cards that do not have color changes based off of the value, I've colored them the same color as the title to, again, just further draw the eye's attention to the fact that they're a little bit different. Uh, each column has a grouping or a theme to it, so it just really helps to further add a tiny bit of polish to the report, all adding up to something that looks very polished and well-designed. Now, the last thing that I want to do is I want to clean up that slicer that we have over on our left. So similar to all these other text boxes, Let's just go ahead and I'm gonna use that sparkling up here as another template. I'm gonna copy and paste that. I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to make this a lot bigger, put that all the way down and basically have that about the same size as the slicer. But instead of that title being sparkling, I'm gonna change that to either filters. Another word you can use is like slicers. I'm actually gonna put slicers in there. There we go. Now the, the big key difference in this is I'm also going to change the background color. Um, in the, the actual visualization itself, not in the title, but down here in the background. So I'm gonna turn that on, keep that at white, and let's drop the transparency down a bit. There we go. And then, last but not least, come up to Format under Visual Tools and send this to back. That way it's not gonna be in front of the slicer. And then the store name now, move that up a little bit. We're gonna do a couple of tweaks onto it, but now this creates a nice little frame around that that's gonna hold this in place. Now this slicer here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna format this and clean this up a bit and have this look a little bit better than just a standard pick list. So I wanna create some buttons in here that just pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna come over to the Format Painter and under General, I'm gonna change the orientation from vertical to horizontal. That's step one, and I'm gonna turn responsive on as step two. Now if you take a look back over on the left, you'll see that there's a lot larger buttons in there now. We're starting to get there, we're not quite there yet, a couple of other things that I wanna to do to really make this stand out. So I'm gonna go down to the slicer header. I'm gonna turn the outline on from none to bottom only. And I'm gonna change the, the thickness of it in the general setting. The outline color settings in there is up here in general. I'm gonna change the outline weight from one to two. Maybe change that to like a blue color. So just quickly taking a look back over on the left, we can see that that line is underneath the store name now, helping separate the title of that slicer from the actual body. And then those stores themselves, I wanna change those icons to have something besides just a flat gray. So I'm gonna to go to items, and I'm gonna change the background to maybe like a light blue, and then the font color to say a white. There we go. 
And the last thing that I want to click on here is I'm going to hit more options and I'm going to give the client or user an option to search, which means they can now type that in here at the top. All right. And the very last thing I want to do is add a company logo and a title and we are done. So I'm going to come up to the home tab again. I'm going to go to image and I have on my desktop a company logo and that can be a JPEG file, a PNG, doesn't matter. That's just going to add that to the page, put that right into the corner. Here's that there. Same thing with the text box. Just go ahead and add that into this corner as well. Something just like report or anything like that. I'm just going to keep it nice and simple for this and maybe change it to something like Segoi bold and make that a little bit bigger, a little bit too big. How about uh, 24 fit? 24 fits pretty well. There we go. And make the color match the rest of the, the light grays in there. All right. Wonderful. And there you have it. Just a couple of steps in terms of backgrounding, formatting, a little bit of color variation, uh, logos and design. All of those that are small things that add up to a larger goal of just giving it that extra bit of pop and polish that really makes it stand out for the customer. So I hope you enjoyed this series. I had a lot of fun making and designing this and the feedback that I've gotten has been great. And other than that, then I will see you in our next video.